Welcome back guys if you're just joining us we are building out 100 php projects and this is today's build a pdf viewer so check out this series the first video has a table of contents so you can just check that out in the first video's description and choose the video you would like to watch and watch it so this is today's build we are building out a pdf viewer using php script so like i can just tap the button and this is a very nice book by the way it should tell you everything about git just click that and you will be able to view your pdf so if you had like a website that sells books this will be important for you or you just don't have an official software which you use to view your pdfs that's out of the way that's full functionality yippee yay this is a sneak peek into the next video which will be how to download files using php so if you're excited be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out that playlist exclusive to my channel okay so i have this opened up in sublime text i just switched this so that you'll have a bigger font so you can see it has just an empty image mm -hmm. oh, it has a git.png the image of the the pdf and the pdf itself within the folder and this is opened up saved under under ht ht docs the root directory so that's it not much to be said for that place is self-explanatory so first what we're going to do is create the the ui with the image and the button so first you have to create a div called container within this div we're going to nest some wrappers which will hold our text so that we can later position it using flex so the hero is as usual if you've been following this series we use flexbox a lot so we're just going to say pdf read pdfs using php script pick out our emojis and once we're done with that we need to replicate this several more times for the image so i'm going to do this the simplest way possible break tags then I need to create the second div, which is also a wrapper. In here, we're going to place the image, the PDF image. So I'm just going to root that to wherever the PDF is. The image to the PDF and give it a class of image. And then I'm just going to specify the height and the width so that I don't have to style it later on. So once you're done with that, there's only one detail left which is the the button and the footer so we're going to style that to create that in a bit so put some break tags in here then just create the div the wrapper then inside here just place in the button um, first I'm, I'm going to do a simple i'm going to put this button in a form i'll explain why in a few I'm going to give this method post then the button itself with a class and name submit with the value of submit to so just call that read PDF simple close that up then finally we need the footer which has which nests the head the h3 that usually just displays the old made with love by langat fortune or in this case your name so the emojis my machine is kind of running slow today my apologies okay save that and let's see how terrible this looks know with chrome which is slowing down this machine or the machine itself is just slow you not know don't care let's sell this up I'm going to put a height of about 340 pixels which is 34 rem a width of 100 percent i'm just going to do display flex then we're going to do justify content center and i'm gonna do align items center boom and then flex direction color let's check this out save that refresh and there 
so we have just few styling left styling for the button and a global styling of font family the sheriff himself so next i'm just going to do the button styles which are pretty standard by now you should know all the styles for the button because we have used them in nearly all the videos and given this the ninth video in the series you should be familiar with this by now but if you're if you're new to this then i don't know because i don't have a series on css and i don't plan on making one soon so ouchie but i would recommend if you don't if you're new to css or you don't have much experience with it i recommend a channel called called oof, 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 the ved the ved is great with css and it will, it will totally help you out okay that's it so let's do casa pointer and we're kind of done with the button styles just refresh that it's taking long yes boom so now we write the functionality for this but first let's do the hero let's do a, a bit of padding at the top let's give it about 20 pixels now let's do 90 and then save that and you should have a very nice looking like push from the top okay there there you go so now let's do the functionality for this so for this you have to create a new php file just head over and create a new file we're going to call this read.php my machine seriously and this has completely crashed now it's not responding give that a second or two okay there we go and it's not clickable dead okay i apologize for that we should be fine now okay no we are not jesus christ okay there there we go read.php and just save that that's why you should never run android studio alongside other applications and you will get really i don't know just don't do that and don't run chrome with anything major or else your machine will crash unless you have a super powerful machine so let's just create our php tags and in here what you want to do first of all you want to if you're not familiar with headers in php they are really a big deal so check out the php introduction and my sql course that's on this channel and it should get you familiar with that okay now let's get to the php so let me just comment this out and say reading pdf files using php we're going to do a variable called file name let's do file and then specify plugin to the pdf which is the pdf i have now you can use whichever the name of the pdf you are going to be using that's on your machine just write that name within the calibrations or you can rename it plugin if you want to follow along now here comes the headers we're just going to do content type application pdf then next we want to do content description we're going to do inline this machine is becoming too slow for me there you That's concatenation in PHP. So we are concatenating with file one. 
the variable which is associated with the promit PDF then the last header the content transfer and encoding which will be binary just close that up then do another header called accept changes in bytes and then just read the file and we're going to pass in the file one and close that up file one okay and that's all the code you need to read pdf files it is that simple guys not not really that difficult to do but if this tutorial helped you check out the playlist on the channel and consider hitting that red button and but right now what's reading our file is the read.php page and we kind of want the the button the read button the read pdf button to be the one that actually launches this process so basically we could just use the an, an anchor tag to redirect us to this page where we can read our pdf or alternatively so that you can even get hardcore at php i want to show you something called redirecting in php so it's simple and it's fun and you should really know about this so th that's why we're going to use redirecting instead of just an anchor tag so what we want to do is head back to our index.php then we want to create our php tags up here then we're going to check if that button has been clicked then we, we will do a header so what you what you really do with headers essentially in redirecting you just create the header then within it you will pass in a string and that string will have location then where you want to redirect to so which in this case is read.php and then just close that up then remember to close up your curly braces and once we head back to our index page it should be able to redirect us on click of the button to our read.php which will automatically open up the pdf hopefully that's understood okay there we go the index.php and once we click it it will open up this pdf so hopefully this is a helpful to you guys and if it was consider subscribing to the channel and check out the other 99 videos on the series for me to you all be soon oh, no.